Petrie. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, I would like to thank the member for Griffith for this motion. I thought her speech was great and I agree with what she was saying. And I'd also like to thank the member for Gilmore and the member for Shortland for their contributions. As one of my past colleagues, uh, Queensland Senator Brett Mason, once said in the other place, to volunteer is to serve. But of course, not all those who serve are volunteers. As members of parliament, we serve, but we are not volunteers. Our gallant Defence Force personnel, uh, our police officers, ambulance officers and firefighters, uh, all serve as well and are exceptional community leaders. Uh, religious leaders also serve, but they're not always volunteers either. To offer service through volunteering is something indeed very special. Volunteers make a commitment to a cause or a person or a group of people that they are not required to make. There is no obligation for people to volunteer. Yet people do volunteer and they do it with much passion and enthusiasm and often love. The 11th to the 17th of May this year was National Volunteer Week and around the nation we celebrated the fact that six million Australians volunteer and make Australia one of the happiest place, places on earth to live. The theme this year was Give Happy, Live Happy to highlight the fact that not only do volunteers help make other people's lives happier, but they are often happier as a result of their service. Throughout my time as the federal member for Petrie, I have definitely met a lot of happy volunteers, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank them, every one of them in my electorate, for the very real difference that they make to our nation and our local community. Just the other day I was at a local citizenship ceremony and I met a young lady called Emily and her parents who had received Australian citizenship. And I'd like to quickly speak about Emily and her friends who live in North Lakes. They're an incredible bunch of young children. Emily Sharrett goes to the Lakes College. Uh, she's 10 and her friends uh, from North Lakes State College, Elijah and Ethan McDougall, are around the same age. Yet between them, they have participated in more than 50 volunteering activities, many of which are ongoing. And to list a few, they include Clean Up Australia Day, where they encouraged other people to participate. They fundraise for the Red Cross Red, uh, door knock appeal. They collected more than $600 in toiletries and made more than 200 biscuits for the Brisbane Youth Service Git Schmick campaign during Youth Week. And last year, they raised thousands of dollars for Angel Flight uh, through the City to South Fund Run and participating in the Bridge to Brisbane Fund Run this year. I honestly have a, no idea, Madam Speaker, how they managed to fit all this into their busy schedule of school and everything else that they do. But I think that these young local volunteers certainly deserve our recognition. And of course, thank you to their parents who tell me that they constantly drive Emily, Elijah and Ethan from one activity to the next and have probably baked more cookies than many of us have eaten in our lifetime. Yeah. Madam Deputy Speaker, my electorate is home to thousands of community sorry, Madam Speaker, my electorate is home to thousands of community organisations and thousands of volunteers. And we cannot thank them enough for the time and energy they put into making our community a safe and happy one. The compassion volunteers show to the people they serve is an inspiration to us all, and for that we thank them.